Okay, next match of Merfolk here. Everyone say hi to Blake. Hi, Blake. This is Blake Rasmussen from Wizards. Uh, we have the uh, the get a takedown on Wizards employee here. It's mini Community Cup time. <laughs> first thing first thing you said in chat was, "Can guess what I'm playing against?" And I replied, "Welcome to my video series." <laughs> so. I can also guess what I'm playing against. I am going to guess Cruel Control. Cruel Tomatum Control, because that's all Blake plays. He's at work. Come on, man. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, an Ancestral Vision deck. Okay. Well, let's get in there with this Aether Vial plan. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can beat the Ancestral Vision. On turn one. He did mold a six to do it. So that's something. Oh, shocker. He's on Grix's colors. Okay, so we get to get him here. Get got, buddy. There's an uncounterable silver go. I'll go ahead and show him the Harbinger because I don't think that we're going to get too much value out of Harbinger here. Doing my work for me. Now this Monastery Siege on Dragon's Mode next turn is actually going to be very good if he uh, taps down anything on his turn. This is why I like Three Cavernous Souls. It makes the matchups like he's just obviously sitting on... Uh, I have to imagine that there's a counter spell over there. And you see he remands it just to draw a card because he knows he's not going to be able to counter anything. So, you know, he cycled. We got our creature down. We wasted his mana. Um, all in all, pretty good for us. Okay, we're going to need to draw no more lands, though. Six lands is already walking the line of what you cannot win with, so. I'm getting here with this. I'm actually going to Vile in this Lord, because I would like him to waste mana killing the Lord so we can resolve Monastery Siege. Perfect. That's incredibly perfect, actually. All right, so we get the Monastery Siege down. You know, I'm tempted to go with the loot mode, to be honest, just because we have so many extra lands in hand. I mean, he's just going to want to kill our guys. Uh, that's that's going to be his entire game plan until he casts Cruel Ultimatum. Making our guys harder to kill where we don't have enough guys to just spam out it. We can mess with his mana a lot by casting Monastery, by choosing Dragons. However, it doesn't matter if it costs a lot to kill our guys if we don't have guys he needs to kill. I think we're going to loot. It's, it's a hard decision, especially with the Ancestral Vision. Is The Ancestral Vision that's about to come off is... Uh, you know, this is one of the reasons I think we need to go with the loopies. We're going to have to just match him card for card uh, up until the late game. I don't think he's got anything but Snapcasters in his deck. So I'm just going to get in there with this Harbinger. <laughs> this is where he reads this card and so what's it do? I don't know about our chances for winning this game, but I do know, oh my gosh, that's a lot of land. He's got Cryptic open. I think this is the one we can attack with. So here's another interesting decision point with this deck. Um, he has Cryptic Command mana open, so if I activate, he gets a Cryptic get down. If I instead move to attacks any Cryptics, I then get to activate this. Um... I think in this case, I'm going to activate it because I want him to. Hey, you know, we at least he takes. He's going to take damage from. Why? Please tell me I got the right one. I really wish it separated Magic Online. Good. Separated the one that had so many sickness and the one that doesn't. So you don't. You know, I've certainly misclicked that. Are we actually going to get in here? He's probably got Snapcaster Terminate. Okay, just the Bolt. That's fine. 
All right, we get in there. If he had had the cryptic, we wouldn't have got anything, but he would have taken almost as much damage from... He would have either had to fetch basics, um, which is not ideal for him, or taking damage from shocking himself. That would have equated an attack anyways. So Now he's about to draw a bunch of cards off of the Ancestral Vision here, and he's going to go up to six in hand on this turn, which is pretty rough, but his life total is dwindling. We have a Muta Vault. Even when he gets to that, we can discard three, most likely, to that Cruel Tomatum later in the game and be fine. Uh, yeah. So, and by that, I mean next turn when he Cruel Tomatums us. So, I'm going to spam this out because of that. Let's get in there for damage. <sighs> yeah, no reason not to. I doubt he has main deck sweepers. This gets us in there for 11. Wow, he's down to 2. Yeah, obviously he's got the... Um, he's got the, the Cruel Ultimatum in hand. I imagine anyways. We'll still have a lot after that. And he doesn't even get to bring buy back any creatures from his graveyard, so I guess I should have played a land out there. Um oh. Kali toss. Interesting. Okay. I'm pretty sure you're just dead, Blake. I'll go ahead and burn this at the end of the turn. If it resolves he loses. If he counters it then that's fine. He just gets island walked to death anyways. He has to have a removal spell. And he's just dead. Yep, got him. Game one. That's how you beat Ancestral Vision right there, guys. <laughs> Chalice of the Void for zero? I think that works. Maybe. I don't think it's worth it, but it, I think it does work. All right, that's where we get the Ruinator. We get the Relics. He's going to have Damnation, so we get the Swan Songs, Spell Pierces, uh, get rid of the Harbingers, get rid of the Dismember, get rid of a Vapor Snag, I think, is our last cut there. Yep, this looks like where we want to be. It's just a question of whether we want, you know, another Swan Song or another Spell Pierce. Um, and I don't think that we do. I think that this is fine. You know, every control deck is different. I actually, I'm going to take this. When I think about Cruel Tomatum being his end point, maybe I do want some more here. I like the snag to save my guy. Um, we can actually mess up his, his, his Cruel Tomatum mana with Spreading Seas. I get rid of a Rejury. This, the, the next thing that comes out is the three drop the Rejury slot. Uh, we could cut. I think that this is fine. I think I, I want. The spell pierce over the, the second swan song because, uh, it, you know, he's tapping out for that cruel tomatum against us. This hand is acceptable. Not great, but not bad either. Have the vial. We have the relic. We have some interaction. We just need to draw creatures. That's not what we wanted to draw. Um, okay. We'll get our relic out here. Hopefully he taps out for uh, Coalition Relic or something on his turn here and we can spell pierce it. Nope. Just sitting on all the removal over there, I guess. Well, we've drawn nothing but Aether Vows and Lands, and that's not good for us. Uh, I guess I'm just going to continue to play slow, put out the Aether Vial. There's really no need to subject anything to a main phase. I mean, we could just main phase the Rejury there. It's just going to get killed. or rather wait till I can possibly protect it. 
Um, okay, that's fine. He'll hit something here. Got the spell pierce. Make him remove that. I do not want to use that one's ability. I would like to use this one's ability. Great. Um, so, the Thass is going to be very good here. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I want to play the Regery out. We can't protect it. He knows about it. But this thing's going to be spoken for with the Thass in the next turn. This is uncounterable. Sure. Make him burn a removal spell. Maybe he only has go for the throat type spells, um, so we can make him use it on something that isn't Master of Waves. Okay, that's fine. Got to get him out of his hand at some point, and this is where the more of these he uses, the better draw, better of a draw. Scap Ruinator becomes. All right, so he is short on lands, and we're short on business spells, but we're going to start the scrying game pretty soon. What is this? Snapcaster Bolt Me? Um, I guess that's fine. guess I could have main phase to prevent that from happening. It's fine, though. This taps, he taps him out. We get to play our Master of Waves. All right, so I want to use the ability on both of these. Uh, hold this one in hand. I wonder if you also play Slaughter Pact. That'd be pretty good against us. All right. Well, we have some threats. Threats that are don't even get lightning bolted. I mean, might have Cryptic over there now. Very suspicious shock of himself. Does have the slaughter pact. And the beatdown begins. Yeah, that's that's a problem. Okay. All right. Let's put the scrying ability to work over here. We've been a little unfortunate to draw five lands, none of them mutable, and two Aether Vows, and there's another one. Nope. And nope. That's a good one. That's also a card. Okay, well, he gets to Jace again. He has to use mana here. We get a Vile in the Regery at the end of the turn. Um, that gives us some live draws to activating Thassa next turn. At the very least, we can make things unblockable, try to get in at the Jace. We're not in a great position here, but we're not in the worst position if we can figure out a way to get rid of this. So, Oh, that art, that double... Oh, so many heads on Jace. Uh, okay. Well, arrange the cards into piles. I would like to move this to the second pile. He may have to take the lands here. Uh, we're going to have some live... Yeah, I, I think that means he took the lands. Yeah, we're going to have... We have some live draws here to kill Jace. Okay. Push another island. Draw another Aether Vol, huh? Been very lucky thus far. Let's try to get in a chase. Maybe he just has nothing and we actually get to kill it, but I would not guarantee it. 
I think we're gonna he's gonna kill Wanton. Oh my gosh, we just got him. Okay, so we still have the siege. I'm trying to figure out if I should play this. I may as well. I guess the only way we get punished is if we draw exactly the monastery siege off the top, and if we can get a two, three, four set up on Aether Vials. All right, so he has five cards in hand. That's a lot of well, he's got four cards in hand now, and that's a lot of cards. We still get a scry every turn. And you can already see how much work scrying's done. We've pushed two cards to the bottom already. Two islands. If we had drawn those islands a game. If we if this was Akira, Akira would have been great. I guess maybe that's not the best one, but Akira's bugged on Magic Online. But say this had just basically been anything else, another dismember or whatever, and we drew those two islands, the game's just over. So We're hanging in there. And if we hit a spreading seas or something, we could hit his tar pit. I guess we'd probably hit one of these to cut him off some red mana, but one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's probably got um, Cruel Tomatum in hand. Okay, well, there's a third consecutive island we've pushed. We drew a land. Very, very lucky. We're, we're getting a little dangerous here. I think we might... I don't want to... I think I might actually keep this back to trade because if you were to just hit us with this and get us down a little low, I think I'm going to keep back the trade here. We're relying hard on the Sasa but four of our top six cards have been lands after we had a bunch of, after we already drew five. So we're certainly, yeah, okay, well, we got it out of his hand. We're certainly working on, working out a deficit here. I guess we have to keep that. I mean, I say it's not bad. It's a little late in the game for it, but it's still not bad. We can play around Mana Leak. I guess we have to hit a st Steam Vents because we want to keep him off of Cruel Tomato Mana, which means we want to keep him off of Double Red. I don't know how confident I am in this resolving, but we'll try it. It's important. If it does resolve, all of a sudden we're at two mana for Thassa. We hit another card that's a start. If we start stacking some spreading seas and things that sort of passively give Thassa devotion, it's a good place to be. And that was a good draw as well. So, see, we're playing chicken with the Snapcaster on the Lightning Bolt here. We're going to go for the Master of Waves when he attacks and try to trade off a token with the Snapcaster. I didn't want to go for... I mean, now he can... Does this... Let's see if we can force him to pop the Tarn. Sure. Okay, go to the Lightning Bolt. And he's on the beatdown plan. So if he doesn't have another Slaughter Pact or go for the Throat or something, we only take three this turn while having some nice rebound options of our own. Is this cryptic? Cryptic bounce? I could see cryptic bounce happening. To hit us for five, put us at six. Murderous cut. Well, that's very good. Might be time to p cash this in for a card. Um, is that the case? 
we're dead next turn, so yeah. Unfortunately, that card was yet another land. Keep it. I mean, I guess maybe I'm not supposed to keep it. We're just dead. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. Maybe he won't go for it. I mean, if he, if he taps out to go for it, we're dead. But he loses a key. He puts himself at some risk if he does make that play. I guess he doesn't have enough black mana, huh? So we're not just dead. We're dead next turn. <laughs> And we can't even hit dismember, so it's like we need a run, we need like running spreading seas here. Oh, he just has another removal. Sp oh, he cryptic bounce. All right, we have died. That was a good game, though. We drew extremely poorly. N actual nothing but mana sources there. I wonder if we actually want dismember for those things. I mean, we. We have the one vapor snag. I mean, maybe we can get it in here. Board out another regery. Sure. At some point, you dilute your your you know your aggro temple based merfolk deck too much, but that's you cut to three drops and things like that, and um, it's fine. You know, you're not necessarily doing that this hand. I like. That game would have ended so much earlier if we hadn't had Thassa. We're on the play, so we don't even get to, we don't even lose the thought sees here. This hand is is very nearly the dream, actually. We want to hit one land, <laughs> basically for the entire game, one more land, and then muta vaults. You know, I'll take cavern muta vaults. But this is good. I mean, we have the one, two, three curve on the vial, uh, and the spreading seas. I I assume. This means we are getting Inquisition or Thoughtseize. I imagine he'll take the Silver Gill. That's the best card. He may be more concerned about the Thassa, though. Sigh. This is where I say that Pithy Needle's not actually that good against Merfolk, but... I guess I didn't take into account the random times where, it, like, I don't think boarding, like, people boarding Artifact Hate or whatever, I don't think it's generally that good because you do it and they either don't have the Aether Vial and then it does nothing. I guess you could name Mutal Vault, which is fine, but it just does nothing. But sometimes you get free wins because you give the one lander, you know, I, I don't know. Even then, you know, look at it this way, he won for one to us because we did hit our land. Yeah, we got set back a little bit, but no, oh, I guess he got us a little harder actually because we don't have uh, a Merfolk to reveal to it right now. We'll take the Tarpit out of commission, though. I mean, we're in this same try now where he he won for one dust, but we did hit the land, so we're still casting spells. So you know, since it's fine, but. We'll see here. Hmm. Alright, so this is a situation where I suspect he has counter magic open. So I'm going to attack first. Uh, then go for the second main phase. I actually want the spreading seas here. I want to take him off of red mana. Uh, and this will give me, well, maybe maybe we just cast a silver gill. I guess casting a silver gill is probably better. Puts a body on the field. Okay. Land? No. <laughs> okay. The no value snapcaster. Well, we're not in the worst spot here. Need to hit some lands. If we draw another cavern, I might actually name God with it, which is fun. Naming God with a cavern is... A good feeling. 
All right, so I'm just going to always know to this thing is I don't think we have any way to get rid of that pithy needle. Great, good draw, good draw. Um, I think I'm fine getting in there. Not winning the game by not attacking. Suspect we get this trade. Unless he cares more about the curse catcher. That's fine. Um, I think I'm actually going to cast the second curse catcher and keep up the spell pierce over the spreading seas. I don't want him something. He obviously cared about it, so I don't want. So it's just the value. <laughs> uh, do, do I counter that? How far till this comes off? Two turns? Is this worth countering? He gains one life, kills a guy. It might be worth countering. He keeps up the pressure a little more. I mean, it's not like we have a lot of pressure, and he doesn't have a lot of mana, so this pop priest isn't bad. I'm going to counter it though. Let's let's keep on the let's keep on the beats. Interesting. He didn't do that before damage. I don't know if countering that's correct, but I sort of like. Keeping him, like we keep keep some pressure on. I mean, hit the land off the top. We have uh, now we can start trying to resolve these spreading seas. See, this is probably fetching a steam vents up over there. Oh, he got greedy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean. That's certainly pretty good, but at least we get to cut him off red mana. At least until he draws his. Um, he's going to draw a bunch of cards next turn, but. Um, sure, wouldn't mind drawing land. I feel like we've got pretty unlucky this game. Pithy Needle does overtime when we drawn two after flooding out last game we've drawn two lands and 15 cards so it's just unfortunate we, I mean we have if we had that turn um, instead of you know spreading seizing him if we had played been able to play out a Thassa or a monastery siege instead we would have been so much better off um, and if you get Thassa right now Thassa is a creature right now it'd be indestructible I don't don't do not feel great about our position in this game. Ugh. Okay, well, we get to keep playing uncounterable guys, so I guess that's the upside. Our, he still doesn't have red mana. That's actually pretty key here. Right, let's get into Jace. Because sooner or later, the chase is just going to minus because he has to draw the cards. What's he got? They assume a kill spell for our lord. Cryptic. Murderous cut. Okay. Uh, plus the Snapcaster block. Sure. Is he going to hit the... He cares about this Curse Catcher. I guess it's free. It's unfortunate. I don't think we're going to win, but we got we had to get very unlucky to not win. If he didn't have the Pithy Needle on turn one, we would have run away with this game. And even then, if we'd hit a third land. I actually feel like these these are these are good matchups. Obviously, we can lose, and you're seeing how it happens. But uh, we had to have a lot of things break against us to lose both game two and game three. Almost won game two, where we drew nothing but lands. I think if he just minuses his Jays here, we're pretty dead. Yeah, this game would have been very different if the turn where, see, 
and so has come on oh, I have to do it like this um, actually want to put the tar pit by itself I think This game would have been very, very different if the turn he tapped out for Jace, we had a third mana to play Thassa, and we were scrying every turn. Um, we could have bottomed one of these Curse Catchers. Um, we could have we, we could have been making Guy unblockable to kill Jace. Um, it actually would be a creature, very nearly a creature itself. Just We've been very unlucky. Um... Okay, well, I guess we play the Regery. This doesn't actually do anything, though. It allows us next turn to try to get a chase a little bit. It's sad or just sort of raw dog the Thassa and hope that he's boarded out all the counter spells. And to be fair, we haven't seen a counter spell. I'm okay with this. We'll come and chase. We'll poke chase. We'll force the trade. And we're just going to play Thassa. Because the turn after that, we can play the Spreading Seas. Plus the Curse Catcher, and Thassa will be active. Now if he... Yeah, yeah he, see, he boarded out all the counter spells, I guess. So feel extremely dead, but not technically dead. So if he truly has no counter spells, we're actually maybe in a position to get back in this. I'll keep it. I guess, yeah. Okay, so we'll lead with the curse catcher. Mm, is that what I want to do? I'm actually tempted to play the monastery siege because. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm tempted to go monastery siege plus curse catcher. And save the spreading seas for the tar pit. Yeah, I think that's fine. Again, less power, but we're going to have if the siege resolves, we're going to have if we if with the siege and the spreading seas both resolve, we're going to have and I wanna loot this crap away. I think we wanna loot this file away. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't really. I guess we'd get cruel to make him next turn. That'd be pretty bad. Um, let me check real quick, actually, and and see. Hmm. Does cruel to make him target opponents? I think so. Yeah, it has to. So choosing dragons actually means we don't get cruel to make him for a while until your next turn, creature and opponent. So it doesn't work there. Um. It's just the Aether Vial we're looting away. And we're scrying every turn. I'm going to go with dragons. Let's see if we can take down Jace. See, he's in this awkward spot. If he, he, has to, he just has to kill Curse Catcher, right? And then next turn. Um, okay, storage counter. I mean, I guess he's a ways away from casting the cruel tomato anyways but we've taken down jace and that's step one to getting back in this game <laughs> he has eight cards in hand though so we're just really riding on this mana screw from him or color screw i guess damnation sure pay one more buddy or not Ooh, get out of here, Aetherval. Get in here, Relic of Progenitus. Um, going to go with this. As our way of turning on Thassa of choice. All right, let's get in. Let's get in there. Okay, Blake down to seven. Relic, get out there. Now, I don't like that we don't have another land for the Relic immediately, but this is 
a place things to be. So right now he's very concerned about, you know, killing the Regery. Oh, we even sent a message. <laughs> wow, okay then. Wow, what a game. I guess he's just dead. He has nothing but red cards. I mean, that's how you merfolk somebody, man. That game looked so unwinnable when he pithy needled this turn one Aether Bomb. We didn't have a second land. You just keep grinding with the merfolk, man. Thassa doing so much work. His card is so good. Wow, what a game right there.